Diana from So Very Crafty, and we are here today to make this beginner drawstring bag that anyone with basic sewing skills can make in no time. This literally takes just a few minutes to make once you get the hang of it. It is super simple. Another beginning sewing project here at the channel. I hope you will give it a try. It's just too cute for words, and it is a simple one. It only requires straight stitching. In fact, in this video, I didn't even show any sewing because every seam in this, this uh, project is a straight seam that you can sew super easy, super fast, and get this project done. Use it as a gift bag, use it as a makeup bag, use it for just about anything that you want to store your little goodies in. It is just really, really cute. I hope that you enjoy this project today, and if you do, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, ding that bell for notifications, and uh, give this project a try. And if you would like more sewing and crafting tutorials, head over to www.soverycrafty.com for many, many, many more sewing tutorials and crafting tutorials for the beginner and intermediate sewist. So let's get started on how to make this simple drawstring bag. So let's get started. The way we're going to make this super simple drawstring bag is we are going to take three different colors to give our bag a little pizzazz. We're going to start with this cherry fabric that's going to end up being the top of our bag. And we are going to cut two pieces that measure eight and three quarter inch wide by five and three quarter, five and three eighths inch long. And we're going to have two of those. And I'll put these measurements down in the description section. We're going to cut one of these red pieces that is going to be the bottom of our drawstring bag and that piece is going to measure um, eight and three quarter inch by nine and a half inch and there's just one of those. We are going to have one lining piece that's going to measure eight and three quarter inch wide by eighteen and a half inches long to cover our entire drawstring bag. And in order to create our drawstring casing, we are going to cut two of our cherry fabrics here that measure eight and a quarter inch long by two and an eighth inch wide. And we're going to have two of those. The next thing we're going to need is some cording. And I have this red cording. It's quite thin, but you can use regular uh, thicker cording. The reason I'm using this is because it's red and I had it on hand. Um, you're going to need two pieces that measure 23 and a half inches each to go around our bag. And you're going to need a safety pin in order to feed these two pieces of cording through our casing. So let's get started on how to put this bag together. The first thing that we are going to do is we are going to stitch our cherry pieces to our red piece. In other words, we are going to stitch our top pieces to our bottom pieces. And we're going to just put them right sides together and stitch a seam right across the bottom here and right across the top here so that when we fold them out there will be one long strip of fabric. And we're going to use a 3 8 inch seam allowance to accomplish this. So I'm going to head over to the sewing machine and I'm just going to sew a 3 8 inch seam allowance across the top and the bottom and I'll be right back. Now I have stitched the 
top parts of my bag to the bottom part and I have just pressed my seams open. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to create our casing for both ends of our bag. And the way we're going to do that is we are going to fold in our ends about 3 8 of an inch and then we're going to fold this in half lengthwise. Once we folded it in half lengthwise, we are going to attach this to the center of the top of our bag. And you can either pin or clip. I'm just going to use some wonder clips here. You can pin this if you want, uh, but I like these wonder clips, and I will put a link to where you can buy these in the description section of the video. And we're going to do this to both ends of our project here because we're going to need a casing on uh, that goes all the way around our bag. So we're just going to fold this in half and put it in the center. And I'm just going to eyeball this. There's no reason to measure it. You can kind of get a sense of where the center is of your project. Now that we have both of our casings on, we are just going to stitch using a one quarter inch seam allowance on both ends. So I'm just going to run over to the sewing machine and I'm going to stitch using a one quarter inch seam allowance along where our casing is. And I'm not going to show you this on the video because it's just a straight seam. There's no reason to. Now that we have our casings stitched, we are going to take our lining piece and place it right sides together with our outer bag piece. Now you can pin or clip these together and stitch them, but we're just going to stitch along the top and the bottom of our project. And we're going to use a 3 8 inch seam allowance to do that. And then we'll come back and we'll move on to our next step. Now that we have added our lining, we're going to turn this right sides out. And we're going to make sure that our casing is facing upwards. I'm just going to run over to the iron and I'm just going to press this real quick to make sure that my my casing is facing up on my project. Now we are going to once again turn our project right sides together but this time we are going to make sure that our seams that we have sewn are aligned and we're going to make sure that our casings remain facing up. So there was a reason that we pressed our seams open in our beginning step. So now we have a project that looks like this. And I'll turn it around so that you can see it. And I'm just going to press, or I'm just going to clip this together so that you can see how this looks.
I'm just making sure that all of my seams are aligned. And they are. Now that we have our project, we are going to stitch the long sides of our project on both sides, except on one side, and it doesn't matter which side you choose, we're going to leave an opening in the side of the lining so that we can turn this project right sides out when we need to. Now, you can clip or pin all the way around this if you want. And if you're a beginner sewist, I would recommend that you clip or pin uh, more than I'm doing here. But for me, this is enough uh, for what I need to do uh, for the moment. So I'm going to go over, and again, I'm not going to show this on the video because it's just a straight seam down one side and a straight seam down the other side to here. Back stitch. Start here and stitch down to the bottom. Uh, and we have a little gap here on the side for turning. And I'll be right back. Now we're back and we have stitched along both of our sides and we have left this opening here for turning. I am going to take a little pair of scissors and I'm just going to clip here at the bottom without going through my seams. on all four corners and I'm going to press these uh, seams open using my hot iron. Now I have pressed my seams open. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a ruler. In this instance I have a little square and I am going to measure a one and a half by one and a half inch square. And I'm just going to draw it out with some Taylor's chalk. Since my fabric is black this Taylor's chalk should show up pretty well. And I'm just going to draw a square. And I'm going to do the same thing for all four sides because we are going to box the corners of our project. Now that we've created our corners in all four corners of our project, I'm just going to cut them out. And this is going to make boxing our corners much easier than if we left them in. Now, in order for us to box our corners, all we really need to do is to take the bottom and the sides and match the seams. But there is no bottom seam, so you're just going to have to eyeball the bottom. And take your clips or pins and just clip across and you'll create a straight line. that is the box of your bottom. And you're going to do that on all four sides. Now, 
now that you have all four of your corners boxed, you're going to go over to the sewing machine and you're going to stitch a straight line where you've created your straight line between the side and the bottom using a 3 8 inch seam allowance. And again, I'm not going to show any sewing in this video because it's all straight stitching and there's just no reason. Uh, just go ahead and stitch a straight seam right across this line and uh, you will then have boxed your corners. Do that for all four corners. Now that we have boxed all of our corners, it's time to turn the bag right sides out. And I'm just going to reach inside here and pull the outer bag through the lining. And as you can see, we have a nice box corner. On all four of our corners. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to stitch this opening closed and I would recommend that you use ladder stitch to do this but you could stitch it with your machine. Right now I have red thread in my machine so I'm not going to stitch it closed uh, for now um, but when you are doing your project you're going to want to stitch this closed and ladder stitch is a hand stitch that I'm not going to show you how to do right now. Uh, but there's loads of videos online to teach you how to do it. And we're just going to then stuff this lining inside of our outer bag. And as you can see, we have our casing face up. from where we pressed it from before. Now I'm just going to put my cording through. I'm just going to tie it onto this safety pin and thread it through my casing that I've created. And the casing is large and this cording is pretty small, so you could use a larger uh, piece of cording if you like, um, and it's probably preferable that you do, but I just like this red and wanted to use that, so you're going to pull it through and then you're going to go through the other side as well. Now once we've got this all the way through, we're just going to untie it from the safety pin, tie the ends together into a knot. Now we're going to take our other piece and feed it through the other side of our safety pin or through the other side of our casing. So we're just going to do exactly the same thing that we did for the first side, but this time we're going to start it on the other side.
and there we go. Just pull it tight and we have a nice little drawstring bag that anybody can make using very basic sewing skills. You only need to sew a straight seam on all of this bag in order to get it to work perfectly every time. I hope you enjoyed this project today. It is a super simple one, another beginner sewing project here at Sew Very Crafty. I hope you'll give it a try and um, tell your friends about it. And if you did like it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and but ding those bells for notifications so that you will get notified of all future Sew Very Crafty videos so that you can uh, give these a try. And uh, if you want more sewing and crafting tutorials that are not here on the YouTube channel, head over to www.soverycrafty.com and um, you will find many, 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 many more sewing and crafting tutorials that you won't see here on the channel. So I hope you enjoyed this project today and I will uh, see you all next time. Bye.